Hey guys, welcome back to Detail Garage. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to condition your leather and what your leather should look like right before you condition it. So I'm in this BMW M3. Uh, this seat over here has been prepped. We cleaned it with leather cleaner earlier. And this seat is not prepped. Uh, this seat, uh, I don't know if you guys see the difference or not, but this seat right here is dry, it's nice and clean. This one's ready for leather conditioner. This side over here, the leather is a little bit darker. It has some body oils in it. It feels a little bit greasy when I run my fingers through it. So this is not ready for leather conditioner. You need to clean this out because the leather is porous. So you need to pull out these oils with leather cleaner right before you condition it. Now, using leather conditioner is very simple. You add a few drops of leather conditioner onto a microfiber applicator. This leather is not perforated, so you can go ahead and apply it. I like running my finger over the microfiber applicator. That way I don't just glop it on, get nice even coverage. And you apply. So you have nice even coverage. I'm not just blotching it on there. Kind of going over it a few times. Okay, you just keep working in the leather conditioner throughout the leather seats. Just really want to work it into those pores. So once you apply the leather conditioner, you typically want to let it soak into the leather a little bit. Um, just so you know, the leather surface is porous, so right now it is absorbing the leather conditioner. Uh, some people like a nice shiny look to it, so they add additional leather conditioner. Sometimes they don't buff off. Uh, me personally, I like my leather looking brand new. I like a very low shine in my leather. Try to make it look as matte as possible. So uh, afterwards, after I let this kind of soak in a little bit, I'll go over it with a microfiber towel and I buff off any streaking, um, any streaking or any excess leather conditioner that's on here. But uh, usually to apply leather, best thing to do is to do your prep work. If I were to apply leather conditioner onto this seat right here, it's gonna look very greasy and it's gonna not even soak into it and it's gonna come off. Um, so if I were to walk in this car and sit down and lay down on this and as I'm rubbing in the leather conditioner can eventually make its way into my to my uh, shirt. So that's one thing you don't want to do. So it's always important to do your prep work. So leather cleaner and leather conditioner, they go hand in hand together. So now it's time to buff off the excess uh, leather conditioner. Simply grab a microfiber towel. Just start wiping away any streaks, any areas where you see excess leather conditioner usually kind of looks a little blotchy if not a little streaky on leather like this it'll look uh, streaky if you have perforated leather it might seem a little bit shinier on certain areas and there you go it's pretty simple to condition your leather, but it's also very important. On a car like this, this car is over 12 years old. Uh, it's important to have your leather conditioned in this car. It keeps the leather smelling good. It protects it from the sunlight. Um, it protects it from people coming in and out sitting on it. So it protects it from stretching furthermore. This leather is kind of aged, it kind of shows that. Uh, but this, using leather conditioner, it actually helps out with the leather and helps with the aging of the leather. So this is the best way to protect your vehicle from time and also from the sun and any, any other outside elements so uh, conditioning your leather I highly highly recommend doing so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to know more about leather conditioner go to chemicalguys.com and don't forget to subscribe we have over 800 videos showing you just to do about anything I'll see you guys next time